otherwise its value equals to zero so the finite duration impulse response is representing as h of n equals to multiplication of h d of n with w r of n so in this we had taken h d of n as infinite duration sequence it will be representing in the finite duration sequence as multiplication of k to be a particular so if we are taking the Fourier transform of this w r of n then it will be representing as w r of W R of omega equals to summation n equals to zero to m minus one. W R of n e raised to minus zero. Now in this, instead of this W R of n, I am taking one. Because for this change, its value equals to one, right? So I am writing this for this change, its value equals to one. One into e raised to minus zero omega n means e raised to minus zero. Now this re value representing as a raised to n. So what is the value of a? Value of a equals to e raised to minus zero. So if I am representing it in the form of a raised to for the range of finite duration, we are taking a raised to lower range minus a raised to upper range plus one upon one minus. So if we are applying this formula, so what is the lower range? Its value equals to zero. What is the upper range? Its value equals to m minus one plus one divided by one minus a, and the value of a equals to a raised to minus zero. As you know that any term raised to zero means one. Minus n minus one plus one minus one plus one cancel out, so this term equals to m. So minus e raised to minus g omega n divided by one minus e raised to minus g omega. Now if I'm simplifying this term in the two form that e raised to minus g omega n by two into e raised to minus g omega n by two. So from that, if we multiply it over here, then the term will be e raised to minus g omega n by So this term will represent it as e raised to minus into e raised to plus. So it will be cancelled out. So this will be considered as one. And this part is divided into two parts, half half. Same way for the denominator. Now from the numerator, we are taking this part as common. So e raised to minus e omega m by two taken as common. So this term will represent it as e raised to omega m by two minus e raised to minus e omega m by two. Divide by over here we are represent or taking common part as e raised to minus g omega by two. So what will be the term? E raised to g omega by two minus e raised to minus g omega by two. And as you know that e raised to j theta minus e raised to minus j theta equals to two j sine. So in the denominator and numerator we are representing it in the form of sine. So common part we have written like e raised to minus g omega by two. Divided by this minus two omega, numerator part will be representing as two j sine omega n by two. The denominator part is two j sine omega by two. Now from this, if we are combining this two terms, then it will be representing as e raised to minus j omega n minus one divided by. And this term, in this term, two j two j will be cancelled out. So this term will be representing as sine omega n by two upon sine omega by. Now, if we're taking mode of this, then the mode of e raised to g omega equals to one, and mode of this will remain as a final answer. So, magnitude of this particular window will be representing as w r of omega equals to mode of sine omega n by two upon sine omega by two. Now, there are some properties of commonly used windows. The first property is Hamming window. It is given as Hamming window means W H F H M is equals to zero point fifty four plus zero point forty six cos two pi n upon n minus one. Otherwise, its value equals to zero. Over here, the value of n equals to zero one two up to n minus one. It is considered as number of cycles. Now, if we are representing this Hamming window, it will be look like this. So, from this diagram, you can see that this one is rectangular window. Red color line is considered as rectangular. Window. The next one is the the cyan color will represent it as partlet window. And the next one is blue color will be considered as Hamming window. And the next color is green color will represent it as Hamming window. And the last one is pink will be represent it as black window. So if you want to select a particular portion of it, then it will consider as Kinds of window. In this, if we are using the more number of factors, then it will be sharper to each. So because of it, we can sharpen the age of this particular selection. 
So according to that there will be different kinds of windows. The first window is, uh, the next window is hanging window or raised cosine window. So if we define in this hanging window, it will be defining as HNM of HNM equals to 1 by 2, 1 minus cos 2 pi n upon n minus 1. And its value will be representing like this. So it will be basically bell shaped window. So particularly bell shaped window is selection is it will be done by this hanging window. Now the next window is triangular window or portrait So if we are representing it then it will be in the triangular form and it will be representing as the equation as double, a triangular window will be representing as wt equals to 1 minus 2 mod n upon n minus 1 and the value of mod n will be less than or equals to n minus 1. So, because of this tapering of this rectangular window, it will be linearly ending from middle to its end. So, it will be look like this. So, from middle to its end, it will be linearly decreasing. So, this kind of particular selection will be done by using this triangular window. And it is also known as partway. Now, the next type of window is Blackman window. What is Blackman window? It is representing as WB is equals to 0.42 plus 0.5 cos 2 pi n upon n minus 1 plus 0.8 cos 4 pi n upon n minus 1. As you know that if we are increasing the number of cosine nerves, so it will be sharp on the edge. So it will be representing like this. So this window is considered as black man. Now the next type of window is T-shirt. Pressure window function can be defined as WPA equals to IO beta upon IO alpha. For this, mode of n should be less than 0, otherwise, its value equals to 0. So, from the Bezel's function, we can define this pressure window. Where we are using I0 of x is considered as modified pressure function from, uh, of the first kind and 0. And this window is representing as Cases. Now the next topic is Gibbs phenomenon. What is the Gibbs phenomenon and what is the use of this phenomenon? The impulse response of FR filter is in the form of rectangular window is representing as H of n equals to HD of n into WR of n. Right. So the frequency response of this filter can be representing by using the Fourier transform. As I have told you that if we are taking the multiplication of two signals in the time domain, then the corresponding to it in the frequency domain, the convolution of this two thing. So if we are representing it in the frequency domain, then it will be representing as h of omega, right? So what is the value of h of omega? Value of h of omega equals to Fourier transform of this two terms multiplication. And if we simplify this, then it will be representing as h of omega equals to h t of omega convolved with w r of omega. So by using this equation, we can derive the frequency domain representation of any, uh, any filter design. Now you can see that if we convolve these two terms, then it will give you the ringing at the matrix, right? Because of side drop, there will be ringing. And because of ringing, it will be the output, which will be less compared to the upper ring one. So this type of phenomenon is considered as Gibbs phenomenon. Now the next topic is advantages of windowing method. The first advantage is simple wind demand. The next one is quick stop band attenuation. And the next topic is disadvantages of windowing method. The first disadvantage is the depending of FR filters using windows not flexible. So there is no flexibility in the designing of this windowing because we have to use particular equation for designing of particular window. The pass band and stop band AH frequencies cannot be precisely specified because of the ringing and too much complicated expression for the desired filter response. So these are the disadvantages of windowing technique. Thank you so much.